What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Deca City. I'm your host, Casanova, and we are doing transformation number four in this uh, series. So, what we got going on is right down here, we've got these two buildings that are identical. We've got the blue carpet, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the blue concrete for these ones. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to do uh, gray wool for the corners and accents. And then I'm also going to add some stone as part of the uh, ledges for the outside of the building. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so what I've done is it got a little dark on me. But I've gone through and I've broken down a lot of the cobblestone on the first building. And I'm just going to continue here, breaking down uh, some of the rest of it here. So bear with me as I go through and remove the last little bit of cobblestone that we have here. So I think this one's going to turn out pretty nice. Um, Doing a little bit different, I'm going to add some wool as part of the outer accents and then I'm going to mix it up with some stone stairs and stone slabs. I think that will give it a nice little look. It will change it up a little bit. If you saw earlier in the beginning of the video, I made a, an orange um, house looking building which is the new spawn house. Uh, what I did is I, I tore down a building that was there, that was just a cobblestone building, and I replaced it with a, a spawning house. And I think maybe at the end of this episode, I will do a little quick walkthrough because I did not uh, make a recording of the transformation on that one so I think at the end of this uh, episode I will put a, a quick little walkthrough so I think yeah that's what I'm gonna do just so you guys can kinda see what I did there and, and what it looks like and, and things like that so, so what I'm gonna do is this is the gray wool that I'm adding as the accents for the corners and also for the entry points and what I'm going to do here is take down the roof. And with the roof, I'm going to add stone stairs and slabs. And I think that will help keep some mobs from spawning up here at the top of this building. And then also as I work my way through the rest of the building, I'll have to reinstall the lighting because I did take down the torches when I was taking the <laughs> walls down. So I like to gather my leftover cobblestone because I like to put it in the furnace to make more stone because there's no point of wasting it when it's a, a good source. So I'm going to grab my steps and slabs. I think a stack of each will be enough and I'm going to do this corner here to work my way back up to the roof it's easier that way it also accomplishes part of the the building structure all right so let's see here how do I want to do this let's see if I can fit a step in here this angle oh no caught the top of the block so let's let's try to let's try to reposition that maybe if I maybe if I drop down and put a block here there we go because I'm going to outline this with wool anyways. Alright, so we got our first step in. And that is going to be the border of the roof. Grab my slabs. 
and on the inside is going to be a layer of slabs. And this should keep mobs from spawning up here when I have it on difficulties. But when I'm building, I keep it on peaceful. That way I don't have to be interrupted with mobs trying to kill me <laughs> when I'm doing these uh, videos. So I'm going to fill this in with some slabs here. Sorry, it's a little glitchy. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Break these here. That's what happens when it gets a little glitchy. Have a, a short delay on positioning the block. So I'm going to fill this in and I will be right back. Okay, so I've worked a, a lot on the roof and I filled in a lot of the side or a couple of the sides. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and do a couple more layers here with the blue concrete. And this is kind of giving you an idea of what the outlook is going to be. I'm just going to drop down here and do another row. Work my way back up to the top. And we'll just complete this side with two more rows. Alright, last row on this side. And grab some more concrete. Oh, no. here we go. <laughs> Gotta get the rhythm back down. Alright, let me fill in this little area here and let's go over here and fill this in there now we've got three completed walls so now let me drop down here into the bottom and put the next layer of blue concrete in this shouldn't take too long so I'm not gonna worry about cutting this out so Fill these in really quick. Two more rows. I think this is actually looking pretty good with the color scheme. I'm gonna grab another stack here, ran out, and oh, get the rhythm again. <laughs> here we go. All right, and then we'll finish off the top of the row. There we go. All right, now I'm going to break a hole in here because there were uh, some slabs that I didn't have, so I had to go and get slabs. Uh, so I need to go up here and finish the part that I missed. Oh, I was off one. Should have went with the first carpet that I took down, so. There we go. All right, now we're up on the roof. Let me find where I left off here. Aha, here we go. All right, fill these slabs in here, and the roof part is done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, ac the accents on the ledges. All right, got it correct that time. All right, we're going to do slabs over the windows and then steps in between. Slabs over the windows and steps around the corners. If I can get my cursor in the right spot, there we go. All right, we've got our corner. Now we'll add our two slabs. Oops. <laughs> Not a torch, need a step. Okay, here we go. And a few more. Make our way around this corner here. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. 
All right, everybody, we are back here, and I went ahead and finished the ledge at the top, and I also did the bottom ledges here. So I'm just going to do a quick walk around and give you a glance of how this one turned out. And then I'm going to move on to the next building that is going to be the same style, same layout, same colors. So I won't do too much of the build on the next one because it is going to be the same. This gives you an idea of what the inside looks like. Right now it's just plain with carpet. Pretty sure eventually as I get along down the road with some of these episodes, I'll fill in the buildings. But right now I'm just doing the shells on these transformation series, so we're gonna leave it simple and easy like that. All right. So that's what we've got for that one. So let's move on to the next one. Here we go. All right, guys, we're back here. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've done some of the outlines so I didn't have to bore you with a lot of the teardown. So now what we're doing is filling in the center areas with the blue concrete. Because I've already gone through and I've done the gray wool in the areas, in a lot of the areas that I want it to be. I still have to finish the upstairs uh, roof area. But we will get to that when the time comes. So I'm going to fill in this little area right here because, yes, I did go up one block too high. Okay. So now I'm going to just surround the building with the gray wool, which I have selected for the border. This way, it just gives me a nice little bridge or a walkway around the building so I can fill in the rest of the roof doing the stairs, which we are going to put all around the edge of the slabs here. Just gonna work our way right around. All right, I'm meet up with this corner and go over here and fill in this area. Oops, gotta grab some more stairs here. All right, there we go. All right, and that completes that section. So now I can go ahead and put the slabs around the edge border here. And again, the reason why I do this is to hope to give it character and also to hopefully keep mobs from spawning up on top of the roof here. So, or on top of the building. So, that way I don't have to worry about them coming, being up on top of the building where I can't get to them. At least when they're when they spawn down on the ground, when I am fighting the mobs, I can get them then. <laughs> Alright, so now, if I can aim this right, there we go. I'm going to do our edge border, like I did with the other one. Okay, let me grab my slabs here. Two slabs. Then we'll do the steps. Slabs over the windows. And steps around the corner. See if I can aim right here. All right. Yes, got it. Okay, and then my two slabs over the windows. Steps across the center. Slabs again. And finish off this corner with steps. There we go. All right, and we're almost done. Let's finish up these last little pieces here. Right around this corner. Two 
few slabs. And we're almost to the final corner. And we're done. Yes. All right. Let's just fly down here to the bottom. All right. So this is what we've got so far. We've got our walls opened up. And we're just going to fill these areas up with blue concrete. So I won't bore you with that. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so what I did is I went ahead and I finished the buildings. I did the borders. I went ahead and completed the entryway with the banners. Got the ledges all set up. So let's go ahead and do a little walk around. So we've got our matching buildings with the blue concrete, the gray wool accents, and our stone ledges. I think that's a great color combination. I really like how these turned out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you're liking these transformation videos as I continue to con um, make more videos for the series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey everybody, welcome back. Here's the little bonus feature that I told you about. So I'm going to give you a nice little walkthrough of the spawner house, which is right here behind me. And this is the world spawn point. It used to be a cobblestone building, just like all the others. And I tore it down. I forgot to make a video, but I wound up making this awesome looking building and I'm just really happy and pleased with the way that it turned out. So what we've got here is our a couple little instructions. And we go inside, we've got some shulker boxes with a furnace, and we've got our world map with more instructions. These are for uh, beginners to understand uh, what to do in the beginning of the world. And this is the railway that takes you to a starter pack. And if you are a, a new member that uh, has played with me for a while and you've become trustworthy, I will give you a key card in which you can go down this railway and there are signs that will lead you in the directions that you need to go to grab a starter pack. And what I did on the railway is I forgot after I did some construction to put some steps to keep people from walking down the railway. So what I'm going to do really quick is place a couple upside down steps to keep people from walking down the railway because you are only supposed to take a minecart on the railway, not sneak your way down the rail track on your feet. Okay, so I got that taken care of. But what it is is I will give you a key card that will take you to an underground area where it activates uh, certain droppers and it will dispense uh, diamond armor, diamond tools, and a couple of miscellaneous uh, diamonds and emeralds to help you out in the world. And those are only for members that I find trustworthy and are loyal to the world. But anyways, this is the little building that I created with the orange terracotta. I did the diorite corners. And for the roof and accents, I did quartz steps and quartz slabs. And of course, lit it up with some torches. So I hope you guys liked this bonus feature. I apologize for not having it as a video, but thank you for watching.